We've come out today to beautiful Baslow to tell you about Scarpa's latest offering. This is the Vapor S. Quite a lot of people are excited about the Vapor S because it's sort of interesting. It's called an S because it's a slipper, but it's a slipper with a strap. So we'll get around to that in a minute. The Vapor family for Scarpa is one of their best selling worldwide. It offers a huge range. So they've already got the lace-up and the Velcro, but this brings another arrow to their quiver. So there's a few main differences you want to know about the other two compared to this one. Both the lace-up and Velcro use excess edge from Vibram, which is a good stiff, durable sole, but that does mean you get a little bit less sort of sticky and tackiness and pasting ability. So the slipper uses excess grip too. So with the Velcro and the lace-up again, they're sort of all day shoes for quite a hard trad or sport, really good edging shoes, but they do sort of lack that sensitivity we might look for, particularly on the grit stone, and maybe the modern style of bouldering, particularly indoors and outdoors, where there's a lot of pasting going on and volumes and features. This can really do that well. So while Scarpa make lots of downturn, sticky, soft shoes already, this is sort of quite different because it actually has quite a flat sole, slight downturn at the toe, but also it's got quite a low volume toe box. So you don't actually have to really knuckle these up to wear them comfortably while still performing well. Things like the Drago and the Chimera, they're brilliant and really powerful right to the toe. But if you don't knuckle them up, they're really not gonna be fitting too well, which means you can't really wear them all day. I actually think I could wear this all day quite well and also perform nearly at my highest level. The low toe profile also sort of really helps with cracks. If you were trad climbing, which is a great sort of particularly grip trad climbing shoe, it's really nice to be able to torque it in there. And also again, just to have a little bit more comfort than some of the other performance shoes. The toe patch they've got is a really nice soft M50 sort of hood over the top there. So even though you've got lots of hooking power there or good in the cracks, it's actually not painful. Things like the Instinct, one of my other favorite shoes, is brilliant and it pulls really well, but it's quite harsh and can be uncomfortable if worn for a long time. So the Vapor S has a full length midsole. So that's actually underneath this. And then it's got this tri-tension sort of band going around here, which helps keep its shape. Some of the older modeler shoes, when they got worn quite like, they ended up living like that. That'll just help keep it bouncing back and keep it performing well. And that sole of use, that full length sole I was talking about, that's only 3.5 mil thick. So the sensitivity is amazing. But with the midsole in there, you can still edge brilliantly. We've been climbing this little ret this morning, which is sort of, real faith in friction on one foot while edging on the other. And actually they were just perfect. I did it a few times and when I've done it in the past, felt a little bit necky, but not today. I wouldn't say this is the ideal heel hook and shoe. If you get it tight, it probably would be, but it's more about sort of the comfort and the forefoot of this. It does work very well for heel hooking. It's caused me no issues, but I think the harder boulder might have to fit them tighter or move on to a Drago LV or something like that. But it definitely offers a very different feel. So the nano strap system is really quite interesting. So obviously they're calling it a slipper, but it's not because it's got a strap on it, but this is actually removable and you can actually adjust that so you can get it tighter or looser, but this is not to sort of force you into the heel and really pull on that heel. It's just to keep it shut so it doesn't use the bungee to open up if you're pulling hard on the toe or the heel. And I think that's quite versatile. So I've recently been Fontainebleau and using them a bit out there. And I was climbing with Rob Greenwood quite a lot and he was loving them. And he'd taken that straight off because we were running around spotting the kids and occasionally getting some climbing done in between. And so we could run around, just pull them straight on, treat it like a slipper and straight out of the box, they were comfy, edgy, smeary. And out in font, they were absolutely ideal. So when you get your vapor slipper, the nano strap comes like this. If you are not filling the void there and you need to make it a little bit tighter, you can really simply pull the excess there thread the strap through, and obviously it makes it a little bit snugger. That's how I need it with my skinny heels. So if you want to take this all the way off to make it an actual slipper, you can actually just fold the strap through and thread it through here, and then on Velcro, take the whole strap off. So I think this really offers something new for Scarpa. We've had many of their shoes for years, which we all absolutely love. Like Instinct has been my favorite for years, particularly for limestone and maybe even a comfy size, longer multi-pitch routes to get the support. The Vapor offers that for a lot of people. But the only thing I think was nearly missing was like a really traditional style grit shoe. You know, everyone used to love the Anastasi Velcro and I think those lovers of that shoe could easily move into this. You don't have to knuckle them the same way as a Chimera, comfort, padding, full faith. They won't hold you back, but you won't be in pain either. Thank you. 